Hello everybody, welcome to Arts with Chi. I'll show you how to do this three different kind of nails and of course all the techniques behind it. I already prepared the nails and cuticles of my model before I apply all this product. I already uh, choose tip for one of the nail and while waiting for the adhesive to get dry, I proceed already to one of the nail for the nail overlay i apply the bonder and cure under led lamp for button number one next step is shaper i'm applying not so thick and not so thin product on the surface and don't forget to seal the edge before curing under led lamp for button 2b Apply the second layer of shaper and uh, ensure to fill up some gaps if there are some gaps before curing under the LED lamp for 2B. I'm applying a shell color over the nails and uh, cure under LED lamp for button 2S. That is shellac color, so skip the top coat of plexi gel and base coat of shellac. Apply the second coat of shellac and cure under LED for button 2S. Apply top coat of shellac and cure under LED for button number 3. Remove the tacky layer with 99% IPA and apply solar oil. And this is the nail with the tip. I cut and shape and blend with 180 grits of nail file. After shaping and blending, then we need to remove the dust with a dust brush. And wipe the natural nail surface with scrub fresh. Now I'm applying the bonder from the natural nail to the plastic tip and sealing the edge. Cure it under LED lamp for button number 1. Apply first coat of shaper from the natural nail surface to the extension edge and cure it under LED lamp for button 2B. Apply second coat of shaper, build the apex and fill up some gaps in the surface. Cure under LED lamp for button 2B. Remove the sticky layer with 99% IPA. Finalize the shape with 180 grits of files and smoothen the surface with 180 grits of nail files and buffer. After filing, remove the dust with a dust brush and clean the surface with 99% IPA. Apply protector and seal the extension edge before curing under LED lamp for button number 3. Remove a sticky layer with 99% IPA. You can leave as natural nail as that or you can apply any nail polish that you want. I'm applying a CND Vinylux first coat of color on this nail. I cannot apply the second coat immediately because the first coat is still wet. So I move on to this nail and clean it with scrub fresh. Now I'm applying the second coat of color and before I will apply the top coat of this, I need to wait for a few minutes before applying it. So now this is the nail that I will do with forms and uh, I'm applying a bonder, seal the edge and cure under LED lamp for button number one. I'm applying a Vinylux top coat on this nail and going back to the nail with forms. I'm pre-tailoring the forms before fitting it to achieve a good fitting on the edge. 
I'm applying a thin layer of shaper on the natural nail surface and continue to build the shape and length on the extension edge. Cure it under LED lamp for button to be. Now gently remove the paper form by not breaking the extension edge. So I'm using a builder now to create my apex. And uh, working with the builder, you need to guide the product with your brush and gently pull the gel towards the surface that you want to place them to avoid the bubbles so guide the gel with your brush to fill up the gaps as much as you can before you cure it under led lamp and cure it for button number 2b Remove the sticky layer with 99% IPA and finalize the shape and smoothen the surface with 180 grits of nail files. Remove the dust with dust brush. Clean the surface with 99% IPA before applying the protector. And don't forget to seal the edge before curing under LED lamp for button number 3. Remove a sticky layer with 99% IPA. Apply solar oil and gently massage it on the nail surface and skin surrounding the nails. So that's all the technique in doing all those kind of nails depending on which nail your client would love to have. Thank you for watching and if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos to come. You may leave your comment and feedback on the comment section and I would be grateful for that. Thank you and bye for now.